All right. And there are a couple of more things to think about when we're looking at circuits. And they are the type of materials that we can use to actually build a circuit. And that's because different types of materials can allow charged particles to move through them better than others. And we know this just from practicing and experiencing different types of circuits in everyday life. So we'd usually, most people would know that things like copper and other metals, they conduct electricity really well. And these types of materials are called conductors. So wires, which are often made out of copper, water, as long as it has a little bit of salt in it, so particularly seawater, and other metals. These are all conductors because they allow charged particles to move through them. Allow charged particles to move through quite easily. And the charged particles are usually electrons. And that's the symbol we use for an electron. Other types of materials, though, are really bad at letting electrons move through them. And these are called insulators. If we think of insulation in general, it keeps things in. It can keep heat in, and it can keep electricity in as well. So these types of materials are really good at stopping electrons moving through them. So materials, we've got rubber and wood and plastic as well. All different types of plastics. These don't allow electrons to move through and we call them insulators. Don't allow the movement of charged particles. which again are usually electrons. 